Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Irenaeus, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came upon the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? Their question contained its own answer. It was a further step in their realizing just who Jesus, their master, really was. We can, however, read another meaning into this story. We can understand it as a kind of a parable about the early church, the church for which Matthew is writing. It was a church consisting of many small, scattered communities or small churches. They were surrounded by large, pagan, and often hostile peoples. Each little church community must have felt like those disciples in the boat with Jesus, surrounded by a large expanse of water. Sometimes that water got very angry and threatened to engulf their boat. At the same time, Jesus, their Lord, seemed to be very far away. He seemed to be asleep, unaware, and uncaring of their plight. The fact that in the gospel today they address him as Lord would indicate that the story points more to their present situation as isolated communities in a very uncertain world. Then they would come to realize that Jesus really was with them and that he did care a lot and peace would come back to them again. But the peace would be in their hearts The sea around them might be just as stormy as ever, just as it is many times in our own lives. Here there is something for us to learn. Most of the time we can do very little to change the world around us or change the people who bother us. Maybe we have no right to make them change, but we can change. We can learn to see things in a different way. We can learn to be proactive instead of reactive. Above all, we can learn to be aware that God is close to us at all times. He never abandons us. That he does know, that he does care, and that instead of taking storms away, he helps us to go through them and to keep our peace. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Through contemplating your sacred word, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us 
who truly follow it, justification in your sight. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.